Hi, I'm Stu. Welcome back to another LumaFusion video tutorial. Today, I'm going to teach you how to do a match cut on an object, in this case a mug, and we will blend it through 24 to 28 different scenes. So let's get started. Okay, so first things first, I've created a new project, 24 frames per second, usual 16 by 9 aspect ratio, standard rec 709 color. I've reduced the photo import option to 0 0.02, in other words, two frames per image. And that means when I highlight the clips, I'm just doing them in a random order. I want to finish on the one that's blue. Press W on the keyboard, or you can drag and drop them onto your timeline. They'll all come in at two frames in length. Now obviously you can go and shoot whatever object you want to shoot in as many different locations as you want, but I don't have time for that at the moment, so I'm afraid ChatGPT and DALI have been my best friend on this one. So I've created 20 images in total, and I've got the mug roughly the same and in roughly the same position. Obviously not exactly the same in some of the different images. So what we're going to need to go through is adjust the size on each one. For that, I need to find a mug that I'm quite happy with size-wise. And I think we'll go with this mug here. It's kind of equidistant in the middle. So number five. So I'm going to make a copy of number five. And what I'm going to do is spread that one clip, resize the duration across all the different clips. And this is my mug template. Go into frame and fit, so press one on your keyboard. And we're then wanting to reduce the blending opacity down to around about mid thirties. So you can see the outline of the mug, but it's not dominating things. Then what you've got to do is just highlight each individual mug clip, go back into frame and fit, and then just reposition so that the mug fits over our semi-transparent ghostly mug template so it just takes a little bit of finessing and there's the first one back out into the next one frame and fit once again zoom in and just pinch and zoom and reposition now you're never going to get the mug exactly fitting and you'd actually don't want it to fit exactly. You do want that sort of little bit of movement either side, but for the most part, the clip's matching. And all I'm going to do is work my way along and resize of the mugs until I've got them all done. Now that we've got all of the clips repositioned, I'll play it through for you. And if you notice carefully, not all of the edges actually align. So how do we sort that? Well, this is where our new adjustment clip comes into play. It's a relatively short clip, this, so we can get rid of that. And then what we want to do is use the adjustment clip, go into frame and fit, and I will just move along to find an image where you can see the actual edge and then increase the size. And just check that everything is pretty much fitting in. Which it kind of looks as if it does. It's never going to be perfect. I to have a little bit of give and take in the actual movement of the mug. And there we go. There's our match cut. Now to finish things off, we're going to add a sound effect. It's a question of which one. Let's have a look at Cinephonic Volume 1 and we'll see what we can do with that. I'm now inside my Cinephonic Volume 1, and we're going to go for this number 10, Echo Slam. I'm going to drag the clip down. Now I've made it a bit larger than what's needed. And I'm just going to bring it in a couple of frames and position it where it needs to be. It doesn't sound like much just now. So we'll go in, we'll increase the gain to about plus three, and we'll set it to primary. And then we want to copy that and paste it in below every single clip. So I'm just doing Command V, 
and the shortness of the duration should give us a nice sort of machine gun fire effect. That worked absolutely fine. I probably would take a screenshot of the last clip and then blend in a steaming hot cup of coffee, generate it and run away or something. But as it stands like this just now, this is a cool little way of taking a product shot or an object or something for your short film and creating an interesting match cut effect. If you enjoyed the video tutorial today, give it a like and share and I will catch you on the next one. See you later.